Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with GTA Online. If you enjoy this video, please send a card to your valentine, but don't include anything cute or erotic, just write the URL to my YouTube, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Meet Thick Man, a retired assassin who is on a mission to become the most powerful crime lord in Los Santos, whilst also ensuring he stays sufficiently hydrated at all times. These are the boys, 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 and together they form a feared gang known as the Sons of Virgins. These are their stories. So I wake up in my new mansion I purchased last video. I'm not sure why I have dresses in my wardrobe, not sure what old thick man likes doing in his spare time, sort of scream serial killer, but hey. At least I've got a double sink in my ensuite so that every night when I brush my teeth, I'm reminded that I'll die sad and alone. We currently have $470,000 in the bank and it's time as always to make some money. I hit the bong like I hit my kids, standing up strong and tall like an alpha male and then roll out. This mansion is sick except for the fact that there's no garage access from inside the residence. Like not even a covered walkway so if it's raining you're going to get wet. Unlike any girl I've ever been with. Kidding, I've never been with a girl unless you count Roblox sex chat rooms which most people don't. I don't make it far before Crosby says to come back and check out his car. And it's literally just the same soccer mum SUV he always drives around. Thanks gamer, very cool. In the seconds I've been gone, some guy has started smoking outside my house, so I kindly ask him to vacate the premises. Is he trying to pretend this mansion is his or something? I guess I used to stand near beautiful women and pretend they were my girlfriends, but they kept on getting mad, calling the police and telling me to get the f out of their bedroom. Speaking of beautiful women, remember how Stealtho Robbo used to be, well, let's just say not pleasant to look at featuring mouth herpes? Well, my boy is now a bit of a hottie. I mean, it's a pretty weird thing to say, but he dummy thick now. He also drives a yellow pickup and he tells me that he's basically designed the perfect girlfriend for him but in GTA Online, which might be the saddest yet most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. We head down to the hairdressers so that he can get a Power Woman haircut and wow Robbie, I know you like role playing, but that's just sexist. Crosby shows me his new car as he was sick of us teasing him about being a soccer mum. It quickly becomes apparent that he has purchased a higher class SUV but still clearly a vehicle a soccer mum would drive. Well at least the Sons of Virgins are more diverse now I guess. Stealtho Robbo is a little minx and Crosby is a mature woman. I also notice the hairdresser's bathroom is co-ed, which is frankly not very family friendly and could encourage premarital mischief. Did you know that 52.1% of the world's population engages in sinful premarital handholding? Also 52.1% of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed to me. Coincidence? I think not. So instead of deflowering your palms, subscribe to my channel. It's what Jesus would want. So yeah, as you can see I fail to win the flying motorbike for like the sixth time this week. I've been logging in every day spinning this bloody wheel and I seem to always get reputation points which is the equivalent of asking your parents for an Xbox but instead being put into foster care. Seriously though, Robbo took one for the team making his avatar thick. You've got to respect the man for putting my future thumbnail potential above his immersion. Realistically though, he could have gone thicker. You see now that's where it's at. Hot damn, you're a lucky man, sir. And Crosby's connection dropped, so as we waited for all the boys to log in, we sat in the hot tub together. If you haven't had a virtual hot tub together with your bro, are you really bros? Wow, imagine if this is the first video you're watching of mine. Can't imagine this is a great first impression. Anyway, a while later a lot of the lads log on and it's time to get down to business. Crosby whips out the party bus and I'd like to introduce you to ex Gucci GG, our friend from New Zealand. His name used to be Thought Patrol, but it was banned, so he changed it to this. Basically, he wanted the cringiest name possible, and I think he nailed it. Ex Gucci GG proceeds to murder everyone and spoil the bus party, which is online bullying, so we all report him to Xbox Live support staff so that he can be banned. He's had a run in with the law before, and will now hopefully learn a valuable lesson about online gaming respect. 
We do our absolute best to keep the party going despite the bloodshed, but the party bus is actually just a means of transport for the main event. We need to get to the docks. Now driving two kilometers to the docks would normally be a relatively straightforward exercise, but with a crew this large, even the simplest objectives become quite complicated. I mean, I'll admit I'm definitely part of the problem, but for example, we finally get a few of the boys into a practical family van and then just get blown up by sexy Robbie and have to start organizing everyone all over again. Actually, you know what? Most of the problem is just Robbie blowing us up with a rocket launcher. All of a sudden, a random player joins the session and I can tell by that smooth ping he clearly lives locally to me. I ignore stranger danger and try to jump into his helicopter, but Stealtho Fieldo fires a ray gun, pushing me into the rotary blades, thus ending my life in a pretty horrific way. By some miracle, we make it to the docks and finally reach the tugboats. A few of the lads purchased these things for like $1.25 million each, and I'll be damned if we're not going to breathe in that sweet sea breeze air and become what I always wanted to be when I grew up. A Somali pirate. A lot of random players seem to have joined the session too, so it's getting spicy. We decide that if we're going to sea, we best take a helicopter with us for maneuverability. If I don't say so myself, it looks extremely cinematic having two stunning and brave tugboats bobbing up and down in the ocean. One of the random players seems to have landed a car on Stealtho Simo's tug, so I use my cargo bob to take care of the situation. I consider dropping the car into the ocean, but then I'd have to pay for insurance and that counters the overall goal here of making money. So instead, I place it onto this warehouse roof along with Stealtho Fieldo so that he can provide covering fire for the lads. While I was doing this, Robbo destroyed Gucci's tugboat with, you guessed it, a rocket launcher and the wheels really have started to come off this seaside adventure. I think the key problem here is that Robbie is a Scorpio and Gucci is a Sagittarius and those star signs really clash. I'm kidding, it's because they both have daddy issues. Anyway, Fieldo starts sniping our own men and not the random players so I have to parachute down onto the roof and take care of the situation. It's a full-blown civil war between the Sons of Virgins and it's not the first time we've collapsed and I'm sure it won't be the last. On the positive side, we still have Simo's tugboat so at least we can trek out to sea and fulfill our dream of becoming Somali pirates. Also, the random players have turned out to be subscribers and quite pleasant travel companions so things are starting to look up. Gucci then proceeds to destroy the boat, killing all remaining survivors in the process. I swear we need like a summer camp coordinator to, well, coordinate us. I decide to give up on the pirate dream for just a minute and instead take my subscribers to the vanilla unicorn. This was simply a test though to see if they truly are believers in family friendly content, but they failed the test when they entered the premises. Robbo decides to get a girl on girl private dance and quite frankly, I've had enough of this inappropriate conduct. I shoot the bouncer in the head so that all the NPCs flee, but Robbo stays inside and he's angry that his prepaid dance was cut short. The madman, or woman, whatever, then starts massacring my fans right in front of me. He then kills Dom HR, who's one of our mates, and so I'm forced to put the big girl down. Wow, things sure did get out of hand. Most of the lads log off for dinner because they're weak. I just snort a line of G Fuel and then snort a glass of water straight afterwards. So now it's just Crosby, myself, and these legendary subscribers, and what do you do when you have a bunch of loyal fans who are the backbone of your YouTube channel and support what you do? Well, you put them straight to minimum wage work. You see, it's been a while since I've sold drugs, and so I visit my desert cocaine lab, and sure enough, there's a batch ready to be moved. All these guys are actually much higher levels than me and seem to all have flying motorbikes so I'm kind of feeling a little bit useless right now. Unfortunately, Crosby lends me his, which is incredibly kind as I can now keep up and ensure the product gets delivered. Just kidding, he kicks me off his bike and I fall off, but luckily I have a parachute. Just kidding, I didn't pull it in time. So here I am in a minivan, supervising from a distance as the new and improved Sons of Virgins do the actual deliveries. I finally catch up to the boats and sit shotgun whilst we finish the route. Honestly, I'm not sure what they would have done without me. 
The important thing is, money is finally being made. Why stop at dealing drugs though? I head over to my office and start plotting bigger and better things. I'm going to set up a subscriber fueled empire and I'm not taking advantage of them because this is valuable work experience. We're not actually in the voice chat with these guys so I just point at the truck that they need to make the deliveries in. I tried using this method in real life with my girlfriend. I pointed at the vacuum, then the dishes, then my crotch and then she left me. With the lads busy making me cash, Crosby and I head over to the casino for a drink and maybe a cheeky slap on the pokies. Unfortunately, the game doesn't let you gamble whilst your crew is on a job. How the hell am I meant to become a dictator if the game forces me to help them? After a while, I salute each and every one of the brave men who assisted me today. Also a salute to Rockstar for giving me $1 million just for playing. I use my newfound wealth to buy a tugboat of my own. The dream lives on. She's a real beauty too, but I'm not quite sure what to name her. Leave your suggestions in the comments and I'll pick the best one, but for now, I take the beast towards the city. Do you like how I couldn't think of a name for the tugboat so I just asked you guys to come up with one? The exploitation never stops. If you've never driven a tugboat during a sunrise, you really should, it's honestly quite invigorating. I dock at the Santa Monica Pier and while I wait for the lads to arrive, I decide to shoot everyone in the vicinity. Wait, I guess these jokes aren't really funny anymore, so I mean I just decide to enjoy the view of this blissful ocean. With everybody on board, we make haste, only briefly stopping to send it over this jump. Chat, somebody clip that. So yeah, this is fine. They'll have to stop chasing us once we get to international waters, so at last, we are Somali pirates. Our next objective is proving that the Earth is in fact flat. I quickly realised tugboats are extremely slow and this was maybe a questionable purchase, but I've got something big planned for next video involving it, so yeah. Self-promotion. Anyway, we sail for literally thousands of hours. There is an attempted mutiny, but fortunately there were no casualties and we're able to keep going. We are pretty interested to see what happens if you just keep going and then all of a sudden our boat explodes. It must be the government going to great lengths to keep the fact that the earth is flat hidden. They benefit greatly from keeping this secret. We decide to just swim for it and the seas are rough, just like my virtual Roblox sex life. Eventually though, we seem to hit an invisible wall or something and decide to just fight each other and then Stealtho Robbo drowns me. What a way to go. So there you go, it turns out it's actually impossible to tell if the world is flat or round, so I guess it'll just remain one of life's many unsolvable mysteries. I suppose that's why Somali pirates exist. They're just water heroes out there trying to find proof. We decide to celebrate by attending a party at the Playboy Mansion, but I'll have to pause for a moment as there are actual topless women here, which is frankly not acceptable for my Christian music channel. So we kill everyone at the party, but I'm only going to show the footage of us killing the dudes so I don't get into trouble. Just in time too, as Crosby arrives and as by far the youngest in the group, we sure did save his innocence. Then it was time to run some sprints, and this is probably a great time to end the video as you didn't subscribe for track and field content. So yeah, a pretty strange day to say the least, but hey, at least we got some cardio in. Thanks for watching you absolute legends and a massive thanks to those who support the channel on Patreon. Until next time and as always, stay classy.